Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this hero section using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we also have this animation for this hero section. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this hero section to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and if I take a look at the blog right now, this is how the website looks right now. So I'm using this theme which comes by default with blogger and it is called Contempolite. So now let's go ahead and add this hero section to this uh, blogger website. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to see how this uh, hero section is structured over here right now. So this is the blogger website and if I right click over here and go to inspect. Here, if we take a look at the main container division, here we can see we have this header and in the header we have all this content. So we need to remove this header from here and we need to add our own hero section in place of this header. So let's go back to our theme code and let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And let's search for the header tag. So you can just press command F or if you're using Windows, you can just press control F and type less than header and press enter and here we can see this is the header so you can go ahead and fold this by clicking on this arrow and this is the header tag and now you can go ahead and delete this code but before that make sure to keep a copy of this as a backup so just copy this and paste it somewhere and I'll just go ahead and delete this header and we need to add this hero section at the top so let's go to the theme code and let's scroll up and this is where the page division starts. So if we right click over here and go to inspect. So if we scroll up here, we can see we have the page division. Now we need to have this hero section before the page division. So here, before this division with the class of page, let's go ahead and type some dummy text. So I'll just type testing and let's click on save and let's see whether we are in the correct position. So let's go back and let's reload this page. And now we can see it says testing. So the code is uh, being displayed in the correct position. Now let's go ahead and replace this code with the HTML of our design. So let's go back to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. Now if you go to the HTML file here, we can see this is the code for our hero section. Now here we can see we have this nav and we are adding some styles to the nav over here in the CSS. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to add an ID over here for the nav because we may have a nav element inside the theme also. So we don't want it to clash with the CSS of our design. So let's go ahead and add an ID over here and let's set the ID to custom nav. And then we have this division with the class of container and uh, we may have this container class in the theme as well. So let's go ahead and change this to something else. So I'll just change the container to my container. Now before that, make sure that you are changing all the instances of container. So I'll just select this container and I'll just press command D or if you're using Windows, you can just press control D and it will select all the instances of container. Now you can go ahead and go to the start by pressing the left arrow and you can just type my hyphen container. And if you scroll down here also, we will have the my container class. So in this way, you can easily go ahead and change all these classes. Right now, let's go ahead and save this and let's go back to the styler CSS file. And now here, instead of all the container divisions, we need to change this to my container. So let's press command D to select all these instances. And let's go to the starting and let's type my container. And now let's select all the nav. So let's select all the nav and uh, let's press command D to select all the instances. For the nav, we have an ID of custom nav. So let's tap hash custom nav. And now we need to make the changes in the JavaScript as well. So let's go to the JavaScript file and let's see whether we have the elements. So we have the nav. So let's select all the nav. And uh, let's change this to nav hash custom nav. Right now let's go back to our website and let's see whether everything is working alright. 
and everything is working all right let's take a look at the mobile version and it is also working fine let's go ahead and add this code to our blogger theme code so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the html file and let's copy all this html from here till the end of the section and let's paste it over here now here we have this image now instead of this image we need to add the link of our image so right now it is set to images forward slash the image name but in the blogger website we don't have this images folder so we need to store the images somewhere and get the link and paste it over here so i'll just go to the blogger dashboard and let's go to pages and let's create a new page for the images so i already have this page called images so i'll just go over here and i'll just click on this insert image button and let's click on upload from computer and let's click on choose files and here we have this image called hero image so let's select the image and let's click on open and let's select the image and let's click on select and here i'll just select original size and let's click on ok and here we have this link of the image if you don't see this you can just go to the html view so let's copy this href link from here and uh, let's go back and let's go over here and let's paste the link over here and now let's go ahead and copy the css over here so let's scroll up and uh, here we have the css of the theme code so let's go ahead and add a comment over here and let's type custom hero section and let's go back and let's go to the css file and let's go ahead and copy all the css from here so first of all let's copy this import and i'll just paste it at the beginning of the css so i'll just paste it over here and let's scroll down and let's go back and uh, now here we can see we have some styles added to the body now we don't want to add this body style to the blogger theme code because it will change the look of the complete page so let's go back and let's copy these two styles from here and let's paste it inside the hero section which is this section with an id of hero and also this custom nav so let's type nav custom nav and hero and let's paste the code over here and now here we have this anchor tag now this will select all the anchor tags in the website so what we will do is here also we'll just type nav hash custom nav a here we have the h1 so here also we need to change this to a specific h1 so we need to change it to hero h1 so here we can see we have this section with an id of hero and in that we have the h1 so let's type hero h1 right now let's go ahead and copy all this css from here so i just copy from this line of code till the end and uh, let's paste it over here and now let's paste the javascript code so let's go to the end of our theme code and here let's create a script tag and here i just paste the code so let's go back and uh, i just copy all this javascript from here and let's paste it over here and uh, we also need to paste the link of the gsap library so let's go back to the index.html file and let's copy this script tag from here and let's paste it over here right now let's go ahead and save this and let's see how it looks so let's go to the blogger homepage and let's reload this page and here we can see all the animation and everything is working all right let's take a look at the mobile version and it is also working all right now we have some problems in the button so let's fix that now for the button we don't have the correct color so let's go back let's go to the css and uh, here we have the css of the button so here let's type nav custom nav button so it will select the button with the selector and here we need to add the selector of the button so let's type nav hash custom nav button and let's set the color of the button to white and let's save this 
and let's go back to the website and let's reload this page and now we can see we have the correct colors for the button if I click on this button now we can see that the button has a different color once it is clicked so let's go ahead and make the color of the clicked button to the same white color so let's go back and for that you need to type hero because it is inside the hero section and button colon visited and here let's type color of white and now if we save this and if I go back to our website and if I reload this page here we can see for this light button we have the white color as well so let's go back and uh, for the light button we have added this class of light so let's go back and uh, here let's type hero button dot light colon visited and uh, here let's type color of black or this color right here so I just paste it over here and let's go ahead and save this and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page And now we can see everything is looking all right. Now if you scroll down, we have all the other content of the website. Now if you go to one of these posts, here also we have the hero section and the animation working. Now we want the hero section to be displayed only on the home page. So for that, let's go back and let's go to the HTML code. And this is the HTML code. So here I'll just add this hero section inside an if condition. So here let's type less than b colon if cond for condition and uh, here let's tap data colon v dot is home page and let's scroll down and uh, once the section ends let's end the if condition so let's tap less than forward slash b colon if and now let's save this and let's go back to our website and uh, let's reload this page And now we can see when we are on other pages, we don't have the hero section displayed. But if you go to the home page, now we can see we have the hero section and the animation being displayed. Let's open one of these posts. Now here we don't have the hero section displayed. Now let's go ahead and add some gap at the top of this content because we have this nav bar displayed on top of this content over here. So let's go back. First of all, let's take a look at the selector. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's take a look at this container division of the post. So I think this is the container division. So here we can see this is the selector. So let's go ahead and copy this selector from here. And let's add some padding top to it. So let's go to the CSS. And here, let's paste the selector. And let's add a padding top of 50 pixels. And let's save this. And let's go back to our website and let's reload this page. And now we can see we have this gap at the top of this content. Let's also add the link of the home page over here to this logo. So let's go back to the HTML. And here in the HTML, you can add the links of your pages. So here you can add the link of the about page, the portfolio page and all these pages over here. I'll just add the link of the home page. So here I'll just copy this link from here and let's paste it over here right now we need to fix one more thing which is when we are on any other page other than the home page we don't want the animation to happen for this nav bar so further let's go back and let's go to the script that we added for the animation so here we can see all of this is the gsap animation code so it starts from here so let's go ahead and add an if condition over here and let's check whether we are on the home page so let's tap if window dot location dot path name equals forward slash and let's add all of this inside this curly braces i'll just end it over here and now let's go ahead and save this and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can see we don't have any animation for this now let's go to the home page and here we have the animation so everything is working all right let's open one of these posts once again and here we don't have any animations 
All right, so that's basically how you can add this custom animated hero section to your blogger website. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.